You have a channel and some of your viewers coming to your channel and they are not impressed by your banner. Because thumbnails attract viewers to click on your video and banner attracts viewers to subscribe to your channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of the process, how to create this kind of awesome looking YouTube banner step by step. If you're a beginner, you can just follow that step and create that banner. So without talking too much, let's start the video. Now for this video, I'm going to use Photoshop. And if you don't have access to the Photoshop, you can use a free version of Photopia, which is exactly the same version. And also it's a one-line version, so you don't need to be downloaded. So you can use the Photopia to do the same thing as like me. Now you can see we're in Photoshop and I have already opened a grid template that I'm going to use to create the banner. So if you want to download that grid template, you can just check the link in the description. I'm going to put that, you can download for free. For the banner, first we're going to create our background. To do that, we're going to use this awesome image for as our background. First, we're going to take it and also adjust it according to our background and then we're going to hit OK. After adding our background image, then we're going to take a solid color from adjustment layer and then we're going to change our background color into like any kind of purple color. You can go with any kind of other color. In this case, I would like to go with the purple color and then we're going to change the blending mode into overlay. Again, we're going to take another solid color. In this case, we're going to use the red color. And then again, we're going to change the blending mode into overlay. And then we're going to introduce our model image. In this case, I'm going to use my image. You can go with any kind of image of yourself or any kind of other model. After adjusting the image and putting it into the perfect place, next, we're going to divide our color into two different color. To do that, we're going to use a rectangular tool, then select the layer mask and then apply that layer mask into the left side. Now you can see it's applying the color into the one side area. We're going to invert our layer mask. To do that, we're going to press Ctrl I and then you can see we apply two different color into the two side area. Now we're going to adjust our layer mask. In this case, you can see the layer mask. One side is a red color and also one side is like a, a bluish purple color. So we're going to adjust all the things and make it perfect to create a two different color for the two side. Now next step is to create the glowing effect for our model image in the background. So to do that, first we're going to create a blank layer. Then we're going to fill it with black color. Then again, create another blank layer. We're going to create a clipping mask. We're going to again to go to the adjustment layer, take the gradient map. In this case, just create a clipping mask and also be sure to select a color that you want to apply into the background. Then select the middle layer, take the brush tool and apply that glowing effect in the background of the model. Now after applying the glowing effect, next step we're going to select that layer mask and we're going to press ultra option and copy that layer mask and we're going to place that layer mask into that this glowing effect layer. Next, we're going to create another glowing effect into that orange side. To do that, we're going to copy that layer, all the layers that we have created, like the glowing effect, the black adjustment layer. Then we're going to delete that layer mask and we're going to copy that white version, that another version of the layer mask and we're going to place it into that layer. Then again, create a blank layer and apply that glowing effect into the right side of the model. Now this is kind of tricky, a lot of people are going to be misunderstand. So watch the video just a little bit uh, longer and take some time and apply the glowing effect into the both sides. Now after applying the glowing effect in the background of the model from the two both sides, next we're going to create that glowing effect into the foreground for the foreground model. To do that, we're going to copy all the layer that we have applied. Now we're going to delete the middle layer and then we're going to create another blank layer and take the brush tool and apply that color. And again, use that smudge tool. I have created a lot of videos in this style so you can watch them and just they're kind of similar way to do that. So just use the smudge tool and apply that glowing effect into the model side area perfectly. It will going to take some time to do that, but yeah, we need to be finish it perfectly and we're going to take some time to finish it as perfect as possible.
Now after applying the two different color from the two side, next step we're going to apply our text effect. To do that first we're going to take our text and apply all the information that you want to introduce into the thumbnail or into the banner. After typing down all the things that you want to introduce in your banner, next change of the font into any kind of font you like. In this case, I'm going to go with this guy, this font. I really like that the font. And then we're going to create our text effect. For first, we're going to create our gradient. Like then we're going to introduce our inner glow, adjust that inner glow, and then we're going to introduce our stroke. After applying the stroke, next we're going to apply drop shadow. Adjust the drop shadow according to your need and then hit OK. And then again, we're going to apply that text effect into the big text, like the banner template, like here. You can just make the changes any kind of, a, now it's editable. So if you want to download the template, you can just download it and use it for yourself. After applying the, all the things that we apply into the first layer, now we're going to introduce, adjust our text or the stroke over here. Then also we need to be adjust that drop shadow. And now we can see we are almost done uh, to create that template or the text effect. It's very easily we just created. We need to be adjust all the things like the inner shadow, the gradient, then the drop shadow and also the stroke a little bit and we just created. After creating that text effect, next we're going to select that text effect layer and then we're going to copy it and paste it to the other. Now it's a very similar way because we don't want to spend a lot of time to create that text effect for the two both layers. So we can just easily copy it by pressing alter option and apply that text effect into the different, different text or the different information into the banner. Now after applying that, we're going to introduce some of the elements that we want to use into the banner. So just take that and place it into the background. And then again, we want to introduce some of the elements like a bullet and also the uh, logo of the YouTube and also other gaming element that you want to use into the banner. We're going to take it and place it perfectly. And you also are going to use the motion blur like anything you want to introduce. And just you can just follow my step. It depends on you how much element you want to introduce in your banner, how much text you want to introduce in your banner. It's completely on yourself, on your preference. But in this case, I'm going to do all the things that requires. So you can just follow my steps to apply that FX and also the elements. is to create our, or adjust our model image. To do that, we're going to select the model image. Then we're going to go to the adjustment layer and take the curve layer. Over here, we're going to introduce a little bit brighter color for our model so that it stand out into the banner and also from the background. And for finally, we're going to organize all the layers into one group. And finally, we can see we are done. And now you can see in a simple and easy step, we just create our banner. This is looking awesome and also it's standouting from the crowd. And also if there are any kind of uh, viewers coming to our channel, they, if they watch the banner, they were going to definitely like that and also subscribe to our channel. So that's it for today. See you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye. And also be sure to subscribe, comment, and also share the video with your friend.